What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Dirt Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have the May 2022 Albuquerque Sunport International Airport update for you guys. Really hope you guys are excited for today's video. We have an absolutely loaded Albuquerque Sunport International Airport update in store for you guys. Lots of awesome movements here at the Sunport today. Super excited to get into them. I really hope you guys are as well. And without any further delay, let's get started. I do want to note before we begin today's update that yes, the wall color has been repainted. My uh, bedroom and my bathroom have been repainted. It's a really cool midish gray tone. Uh, I didn't really pick it, but I'm a fan of it. So definitely a nice change up from that creamish color that we had here on the wall. I think it's a nice change for sure. So I still do want to do a blue sky background here. Hopefully we'll be able to do that soon. And we'll talk about that more going into the uh, video. But as, anyways, without any further delay, let's get started with the actual airport update portion. Beginning right here as usual with this American Eagle Umbra ERJ-175. This guy has enhanced wing lifts on the behalf of Skywest Airlines. This guy's currently making non-stop service in from Los Angeles, and he's going to be heading back out there, going really strong right there. No April Fools today. This is a full legit update. Next up, we have this Frontier, Airbus A320. This is Griswold the Bear. This guy's currently loading up with the new non-stop service out to Las Vegas for us today. Really cool to have Las Vegas now for Frontier. This is a really cool service. I think it's two weekly, and we're going to be seeing A320s, a 320 Neos, and a 321s So, very excited for this service. I think it will be a very nice compliment to Southwest and Allegiant, even though they're not here today. But it's still going to be awesome to have another airline for Las Vegas. And don't forget, Spirit will be starting it later in Q3. So, very exciting. And the Las Vegas market at Albuquerque is definitely showing it up for sure next up we have the delta Airlines section which is looking really nice on top we have that delta net number ear j-170 filling in for sky with number ear j-175 this guy's currently coming in from salt lake city utah gonna be heading back out there on the three daily service delta airlines airbus a321 with sharklets this guy's currently loading up with the non-stop service out to atlanta or citrus aviations airport gonna be heading back out there feel free to submit local fan pitches and subscriber outs link in the description would really appreciate that and then on the bottom right here, excuse me, we have this Delta Natural Number Ear J-170 filling in for another Skywest Number Ear J-175 with enhanced winglets. This guy's kind of making non-stop service out to Los Angeles and we'll be uh, heading back out there, pardon me. Uh, three daily service there, so sorry about that, but looking really nice right there. Next up, we have the JetBlue Airbus A320 in the Spotlight Tail. This guy's currently loading up with the uh, non-stop service up to New York John Kennedy today. Uh, proceeding really strong. No A220 still, but still cool to see JetBlue going good with the... Um, Airbus A320. Next up, we have this Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800 right here in the normal livery. This guy's currently loading up with the non-stop service out to Portland, Oregon for us today. The service is on 737-700 still, which is very cool, but unfortunately, I don't have that model, so 737-800 for now will have to do. A uh, really, really cool service on 737-700. Super cool to have that there, and I think it's an absolute unit, so what a W right there for Alaska. Next up, we have the American Airlines section. Right here, we have this American Airlines Airbus A319, the American West Heritage Paint Scheme. Beautiful model right here by Aero Classics. They did a good job. This guy's going to load up with the non-stop service today. Back out to Phoenix Sky Harbor for us today. Going to be seeing A320s and A319s and CRJ900 Mesas on the service. So, really good. Uh, beautiful model once again. This thing's absolutely beautiful. One model that will probably not be being, uh, seen as much going forward due to a replacement coming very soon. Well, not necessarily a replacement, but I guess a compliment. It's this American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the One World Liberty by Gemini Jets. This thing's absolutely beautiful. Really glad to have it. Sorry, uh, they actually, when they painted this, uh, they actually moved these boards without permission and some of the gates got messed up. So uh, that was a little frustrating, but luckily nothing has been damaged at this time, as you guys can see. Nevertheless, this guy's kind of loading up with the non-stop service today out to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Mainly just 738s. Uh, I think there may have been one RJ, but mainly 737-800. So that's an absolute grind. Uh, really pleased with American's efforts there. Really, really nice. Next in line, you'll find the United Airlines section with the 737-700 with the non-stop service up to Chicago O'Hare for us today. Uh, really cool to see 737-700 on that service. I think it's an absolute W that they have it there and it looks really nice. Then we have the 737-900 right there. This guy's kind of loading up with the non-stop service out to Houston and Continental for us today. I'm sorry, wrong route. Uh, Denver for us today, Denver, Colorado. Uh, Houston is a little frustrating. We'll talk about that here more in a moment once we wrap back around, but for the moment, uh, yeah, at this time, you are not seeing Allegiant here. Allegiant has unfortunately bit the dust at the moment due to um, pilot shortage. They have uh, suspended 100 routes for April, so April and May. So, uh, yeah, no Allegiant. Uh, hopefully, they'll return soon. But, yeah, they are absent. No Las Vegas, no Austin. So, very unfortunate. I really hope they are able to get these efforts put into place and get it back together. But for the moment, we currently have uh, an empty Allegiant section. So, unfortunate for sure. But, again, what can you do? This Southwest Airlines 737-800 right here is currently loading up with the non-stop service today out to Chicago Midway after coming in from San Diego for us today. What a beautiful airplane. It's looking really good. 
This is South Carolina 737-700 right here. It's currently loading up with a non-stop flight today out to Dallas Lipville today after coming in from Houston Hobby. Again, super strong route there for Southwest. They do an awesome job with those. This South Carolina 737-800 Max 8, pardon me, right here. Currently loading up with the non-stop service out to Oakland today. He came in from Burbank, so uh, really good services right there. Southwest doing really good with the flights uh, as a whole. And then this 737-700 in the Hart Livery with blended winglets right here is currently loading up. Are currently pushing back, excuse me, this guy has a non-stop flight today over to Las Vegas and he came in from Phoenix Harbor earlier. So Southwest really progressing well, very pleased with their efforts as of late and I'm excited to see where Southwest will trend going forward. Uh, been really, really good. Okay, as I screech around here, we have the Boutique PC-12. This guy's going to load up with the non-stop service out to Carlsbad. Uh, really glad to have these EAS flights going really good and truly really cool to have Boutique here at the FBO. Uh, I did get an advanced air, a little substitution. We'll talk about that going forward, but I unfortunately don't have quite the adequate aircraft yet, but you guys will see what's going on. So very nice. Last but certainly not least right here, we have a beautiful uh, section right here for United. Beginning up here on the top with the Airbus A319. So he's currently making non-stop search in from San Francisco and he's gonna be heading back up there. It's five weekly A319s and two weekly, or yeah, two weekly Ever 175. So it's quite interesting to see the contrast there, but pleased with their efforts. It's really cool to have the A319 San Francisco, which is really cool. One thing that's not so cool in my opinion, and I think they could definitely do a better job with this, is uh, Houston Continental Service on the Ember Ear J-175 on the behalf of Mesa Airlines. Uh, a head scratcher uh, not to see mainline right now, especially when you have Chicago and San Francisco on dual mainline, but no Houston. I guess they're going for frequency, and I mean, I get that, but the fact that you're going to have some of your uh, routes that have been suspended over periods um, on mainline is just incredible to not have this. So, uh, yeah, it's interesting with Houston. Yes, there's a little bit more competition. I guess San Francisco is a monopoly. Chicago, American just has their 175. Denver is a little bit more competitive, but huh, who knows? Who knows? Kian Sabe, who knows? I believe that's I believe that's a Spanish for who knows. But nevertheless, really solid commercial section. Um, looking really good. I mean, lots of awesome aircraft here, and overall as a whole assessment, I mean, there's just a lot of awesome movements here at the Sunport. So very pleased with those, and we'll proceed into the general aviation ramp. So we do have some solid planes going on over here. We'll begin over here on the left with this gray, um, this is a Baron 58. Now this is the best I have for a, a King Air 350. This will be operating for advanced air today. Uh, this guy I believe was heading out to Silver City. I'm pretty sure that was the route for this aircraft. Um, so yeah, I currently am trying to get a King Air so I can make the custom. They also operate PC-12s, but at Albuquerque, it's a lot more common to see their uh, King Air aircraft. So I did check out their website, it looked really good. So uh, maybe, maybe just maybe one day we'll get to check them out and see what they're all about. But for the moment, uh, it looks really cool. And yeah, so that's the best advanced air um, substitution I have at this time, but definitely expect King Air in the coming months to have a proper advanced air and that'll be a very cool plane for the fleet. Really happy about that. So that looks great. This Cessna 172 is currently loading up with the nonstop local flight today. Um, I wish I knew some smaller towns in this region, but we'll just say for the sake of uh, what I know, he'll head out to... Um, uh, actually, let's go with Corvus, New Mexico. That will be perfect. Corvus, New Mexico for him today on the cross-country flight. This Learjet 75 is currently loading up. What a unit right here. This is a beautiful plane. This guy came in from Grand Junction, Colorado previously. He's going to have a continuing service today. Back out east, he'll head out to El Paso today. Lastly, we have this really nice Thenom 300. Uh, definitely one of my best customs thus far, in my opinion. Uh, purple livery. This guy's kind of making a non-stop flight today in from... Um, let's go with Oklahoma City for him today. He's going to have receiving service. A uh, little bit a little longer flight. He'll head out to Flagstaff today, so... Very cool to have that in there, what a unit. Right in front of us here, you're gonna find the FedEx Express Airbus A300 freighter. This guy just got pushed back. He's gonna have a nonstop service today over to, I think for the A300, it's Lubbock. So we'll say uh, A300 over to Lubbock. Again, these have been a little hit or miss, but I really wanna use this aircraft because obviously I've been wanting it for such a long time. So trying to find the best connotations to use it in, been a little challenging, but for sure a unit and would not wanna replace it. So what a W right there. For the cargo section today, we have a really nice lineup. Of course, we have a lot of uh, ground service equipment currently hanging out because we're representing a afternoon time frame here. So let me get over on the other side for this UPS Airbus A300 freighter. This guy had a nonstop flight earlier today in from Dallas, Fort Worth. He's gonna continue over to El Paso today. Uh, I'm sorry, um, let's go with that Denver, pardon me. Looking really good. This UPS Boeing 757-200 uh, came in earlier today from, we'll go with the, uh, let's go with Phoenix. He'll, he came in from Phoenix earlier. He's going to have a proceeding service over to Denver for us today. 
Then we have our two beautiful 767s. We'll begin right here on the bottom with the 767-300 for UPS. It's got a non-stop service in today from Louisville. It's gonna proceed out here just a little bit out to Denver here in about uh, three hours or so. And currently on the turnaround back out to Memphis, we have the FedEx Express Boeing 767-300 freighter. I think they are getting two of these in a day, which is very impressive. Uh, I think an Indy 11 would be very cool for that route. Not saying that's gonna happen, but definitely I thought maybe at peak times or who knows at this point, maybe we'll get an MD 11. So ultimately we have a really nice looking uh, section over here for the cargo and Albuquerque definitely represents cargo well. So very happy about that. And hopefully more GSC to come. Also over here would like to add a little bit of more um, variety and turn and uh, decal markings. Want to have a little GSC parking area over here, make that look really nice, a little roadway. Right here, I don't know if I can maybe squeeze in an FBO. I know that's kind of like, what the heck? I think FBO like somewhere here would be a little bit more realistic. So perhaps a fire station, fuel station, something cool here. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe even just a ground service equipment garage would be cool here. So let me know, but there's definitely enough room and I want to do something with that. So let me know what you guys think. It's been sitting for too long. So let me know, but definitely a little something coming on there. So be ready for it. This Southwest Airlines 737-700 is currently texting out with split scimitars non-stop service today out to Denver, Colorado today. He had a uh, preceding service earlier in from, uh, let's go with, uh, I said San Diego, darn it. Okay, let's uh, let's switch that out for, um, pretty sure we have, I, yeah, we have Austin. Okay, Austin for Southwest, my bad. So lots of variety, but we'll save Austin for that guy. So that's looking really nice. And currently holding short right here, we have the Alaska Airlines 737-800. This guy's got a nonstop flight today out to Seattle, Washington for us today. This service is also uh, on the 737-800, so this is full-fledged realistic. I'd like to get Alaska 737-700. It's not the top of the line item, but it would be nice for sure. So that's definitely a thought, but thank you to all of our veterans. We really appreciate your guys' work and uh, just, you know, I'm, I'm speechless. It's absolutely incredible what you guys do for us. So thank you so much. The last aircraft of this airport update is this American Eagle Embraer Air Day-175 with enhanced wing notes on the behalf of Envoy Air. This guy's currently coming in after a non-stop flight from Chicago here. Here in just a little bit, he'll be proceeding out to Austin, Texas, which has been going really strong on the Envoy service. So glad to see that and really excited to see where the developments of Austin and Chicago go for American and all the airlines involved. And just like that, that will do for today's Albuquerque Sunport International Airport update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the last few I've noticed have been very long, or pretty long, so I thought I'd change it up just a little bit and make this one just a touch shorter. Not drastically shorter, but just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of awesome things going on. The new service to uh, Las Vegas before Frontier's awesome. We'll have Spirit service to Las Vegas also starting soon. And uh, lots of great stuff ahead. I mean, the consistency at the Sunport's been great. Great time to go visit Albuquerque. There's a lot of awesome things going on. Uh, great mainline traffic as well. It's just really cool to see. I mean, yes, you have a couple regionals here and there and then down there technically and then right there. But you're seeing a lot of mainline at Albuquerque, which I'm not saying it's turned into Orange County by any means, but it's really nice to see this and definitely a W. I'm really happy to see this effort here. So this is really good and I'm excited to see what's to come here in the future for the Sunport. So ultimately, what a W and I'm really excited. So. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, episode one of the V1 Rotate podcast should be coming out today. So that should be at 5 p.m. Central Time. So right after this video. So if you get a chance and look for some aviation news talk, feel free to check that out. I really appreciate it. Full, full, uh, full, first full, full-fledged aviation uh, news episode. The episode zero was the introduction, of course. So this is the first full episode. So very excited for that. And keep your eye out for even more where that came from as a lot of stuff's in the works. Speaking of in the works for the channel, we have a lot of awesome content to come. Uh, you guys have probably noticed a lot of model release videos. Those I did not expect to do as many as what is, it's turned into, but you guys are enjoying them and they are very fun. And I don't want to use the terminology quick because they do take some time, but uh, it definitely works into the schedule and it's very effective and efficient. So I love doing those. And that's not to say that other content's not in the way as well. I had plenty of questions about spotting vlogs and a variety of other airports. Phoenix finally made it back. Thanks for all the support on that. I'm glad that you guys are excited that Phoenix is back. Expect more where that came from and also storyline to come as well and spotty vlogs too and hopefully some X-Plane content and various other th thoughts. I've had a couple of really cool thoughts. So definitely expect those to come uh, one-offs and such as well. Massive Unboxing 20 got a little kind of tied up in filming eras, but this weekend should work. So hopefully that will be coming next weekend for you guys. Also one more week of high school. Um, 
dumbfounded is the only way to put it. It is just crazy to think that we're where we are at this time. So um, expect a lot of great stuff. Uh, it's just crazy that we're already here, but definitely some content to come on that. We'll definitely talk about that a little bit more in detail. And expect a lot of awesome things to come as well. So um, yeah, but Albuquerque, great stuff. Really happy with the progression. Expect advanced there. Still want to do the FedEx caravans. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a chance to do those as soon as I get some caravans and a lot of awesome content as well. So expect some great stuff. Really excited for it, and it's going to be an absolute W going for it. So, with all that being said, that will do it for today's Albuquerque Sun for an International Airport update. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I really want to do a blue wall here as well. I think that would look really good because just the ultimate connotation of just um, the really nice gray here. I think a blue sky would really finish that off. So, um, yeah. But there's going to be a lot of awesome things. I also wouldn't mind doing some roads throughout here on the sides and such, and maybe a little bit of detail underneath there. So. Uh, I really want to enhance my realism going forward. And uh, this I still think looks solid, but I definitely think uh, some smaller details and even some want to get GPUs really bad for the planes, want to get uh, different variety tugs and such as well. So you're definitely going to be seeing some progression coming throughout there. That goes for all the airports as well. Just what really I like about Albuquerque is it's always been in this location. It doesn't move. It's always here. Um, don't have to take anything down outside the planes, ground service equipment, jet bridges, and all that fun stuff. So, but yeah, it's a uh, absolutely awesome airport. Really happy with Albuquerque and so excited for what's to come upcoming in the future. So, with all that being said, that will do for today's Albuquerque Sun Port and National Airport update. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Richard Aviation. Like, thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Richard Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon as Richard Aviation is signing off.